G'day guys and welcome to G-Man Speaks, the channel for the boys, where we all come together, have a laugh, chat and share our knowledge about women in the dating market 2024. So without further ado guys, let's jump in. I'm taking a look at Brisbane today, right? I'm taking a look at Brisbane, you dirty Brisbane bastards that all these women are complaining about. You boys at home, lying. Telling them what they want to hear. Putting them in situationships. Good. There should be more of it. I believe I've never told you guys about the story of why um, I just, I like didn't Tinder date for so long. Because I went on, my first ever date after getting out of my relationship that I'd been in since high school, my first ever Tinder date was awful. It was awful. So we match, we're chatting. He looks really cute in the photos. Like so cute that I'm like, fuck, I reckon he's a catfish because he looks too cute. Anyway, um, we're chatting for a while and he goes, we should catch up. And I was like, yeah, we should. He was like, where Bossy. do you want to go? And I'm like, let's just go to Chermside because like everyone in Brisbane knows that Chermside is just like an easy meeting place. It's easy. It's local. It's easy. And he goes, oh, a bit difficult for me to get to, but all good. And I was like, do you not drive? And he was like, no, nah, I don't. And I was like, that's a red flag. But I'm too naive to know red flags and know to not go on the date. Anyway, I'm like, just to be polite, I'm like, oh, do you want me to pick you up? And he was like, that'd be great. And I was like, you're supposed to be like, no, I don't worry about it. So I can be like, no, it's fine. Or just like say no, because like you're a man. Anyway, whatever. It's a red flag, boys, if you don't own a car. Jesus, this is hilarious. I mean, you know, if you put the offer out there, don't play games. Don't put an offer out to pick the dude up. Um, because Bryce, he will take you up. He wants to save money on petrol. He doesn't want to spend his petrol, um, you know, increase the maintenance costs on his car and all that. On the Celica, the 1987 Celica that he's got. No, he wants you to come and pick him up because he doesn't give us stuff. Um, so then I like go to pick him up. He actually looks like the photos, which I was shocked. We get to Betty's Burgers, really romantic. Um, and you know how you have to like stand and order before you like sit down? We're there ordering and he finishes his order and then he looks at me and he goes, do I have to pay for you? Like exactly like that. And I was like, no. And the girl at the counter is like looking at me like sis. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. It gets worse though. Imagine. We sit down. He's really boring and he only talks about himself. And then the buzzer, little buzzer thing goes off and he goes up to get his food and he comes back down and he goes, oh, yours is over there, by the way. And I was like, you couldn't have just grabbed that? Like, what are you? What a legend, Bryce. He couldn't give two shits, mate. He blatantly tells her he doesn't want to pay. She has to go and pick him up. And she's doing all these things because he's a good looking dude and good on her, right? But don't come on here and complain about all these red flags. He... he he blatantly didn't hide anything from me. It was straight up. <laughs> no accountability, guys. Oh, it's horrible. Oh. Anyway, go get my food. I literally have the worst 45 minutes of my life. Like, it was just awful. It was so bad. And so we're getting up to leave, and he goes, oh, do you want to go watch a movie? I should have said no, but I'm too awkward and uncomfortable to say no. So I was like, oh, sure. Yeah. We go over to the cinema, and he goes, what do you want to see? And I was like, oh, honestly, like, I'm really easy, but, like, anything except the Jurassic World movie, like, I don't really do dinosaurs. I don't know if he didn't listen to what I said or he didn't give a fuck, but he goes up to the counter and he goes, uh, two for Jurassic World, please. Fucking legend. <laughs> he's taken the piss. Bryce, he's taken the piss. Good on him. He's, <laughs> he doesn't give us stuff. He probably does this every day, right? He goes on that many dates, so he doesn't give a shit what happens here. Um, and he's just having a good time going against the grain. That's it. And she's making it out like it's a red flag and all this, but she's, he's, he's rolled her up so much that she's come and made a video about him on TikTok. For 565,000 girls to like. <laughs> it's You can't make this shit up. It's it's hilarious. I love it, guys. That's why I share it with you. It's really, really funny. And guy, and you guys out there who might not be overly successful with women or have lived the life of womanizing, I can tell you, you can basically get away with whatever you want if a girl likes you. Um, you know, within reason. You can be abrasive. You can be unreliable. Um, you cannot pay. All those things. But all those rules, they go out the window, all right? They go out the window when a girl likes you. That's just it. And that's why she thought he was hot. Um, and then in hindsight, she looks back that it wasn't a great idea. But at the time, she was going along with it because she was really attracted to Brycey. And I was like, and then, and then, everyone knows how expensive it is at Chermside. He looks at me. He just stares at me. Just She says the price and he just looks at me until I eventually pull out my card and I pay for it. Good on you, Brycey. And he goes, oh, thanks. And I was like, no worries. We get into the cinema. My butt had just touched the seat and he goes, can we make out now? And I was like, oh. no, no. So he grabs my hand and he holds it like a dead ass fish for the whole movie. Sweaty motherfucker. The whole two and a half hours is just holding my hand. And I was like, this is the worst. 
we leave, start walking back to my car. He just assumes I'm gonna drive him home, so he just gets in my car and I drive him back and we pull out the front of his house and he goes, so can we make out now? And I was like, sorry, no, no, we can't. He gets out of the car and I am that chip and then I was literally traumatized, like traumatized. Um, it's actually a miracle that I went on the first date um, with my current boyfriend because like it took me three and a half years to get the fuck over that. It was a nightmare. It was awful. <laughs> Would you want to be her boyfriend having her talk about all her life, uh, TikTok and, and dates and Bryce and it's probably some dweeb, some nerd that she's that she's gotten to go out with her, you know, who, who will take her to, what was it, Chermside and spend money on her and take her to the Betty's Burgers, um, high class there, guys, high class Betty Burgers, um, and going down to local Hoyts cinemas, you know, with the Tuesday um, two for one deal or whatever it is. Uh, that's a classic, but good on you, Bryce. Anyway, guys, look, we're about halfway through. Um, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe to the channel. And please, uh, most of all, watch through to the end because YouTube really values the content. And if you do want to support the, the uh, channel further and my content and see more of my uncensored content, guys, jump over to my Patreon, G-Man Speaks TV on Patreon. Just search it up. Um, and I've got another probably 100 or more videos that are not on YouTube on there um, that are highly uncensored. Um, and look, giving you some straight facts um, from a guy who's been around the bush, guys. Anyway, let's, let's without further ado, let's keep getting on with it. Y'all, I want to have a little bit of a discussion about situationships because I've always been in situationships. I've never actually had a full-blown relationship. And I think I've learned from my mistakes and this is how I view them and how we need to stop them. For me, a situationship has always been a four to six week period where I meet someone and we do the cute couple shit. We go on dates or whatever and we go to the fucking shops and fuck whatever. See you later. Fuck, that's just some real high class. Uh, he bangs her, takes her down to local food court, down to McDonald's. And it's, actually, McDonald's is getting a bit expensive now. She's probably not even getting that. But what's a situationship and what are these things you know, that guys get into? The guys can sniff chicks like this out. Um, the ones that they know, like I'm talking Brycey. Bryce sniffs these, he's like a bloodhound. He knows that he can, you know, get in there with low expenditure, low investment and low effort and get some action. Yeah, she's not, you know, she's not fucking Lara Croft or I don't know, fucking whatever, whatever guy, whatever chicks that guys fucking think are hot, but he'll do it because it's something to do and it's not going to take too much effort. These chicks don't realize that. Later. And then out of the blue it ends. The reason why I think they start most of the time in my experience is the person's gotten out of a relationship recently, they're scared of commitment, or they've got people on the roster that they're not willing to give up. Yeah. And I think that the respect that I've gained for myself now allows me to communicate with someone and say, this is what's happened to me in the past, and if you think you're going to do it again, you need to tell me now because I refuse to put my sh like myself through that again. Like, I'm protecting myself. Yeah, I mean, you know, no one should have... It, it, look, if you do learn, that's great, right? I'm not going to put on the women, oh, you're bad. Blah, blah. But this is also how these chicks, the ones you get on the dating apps that have the, uh, the really high standards, the unrealistic and unattainable rules because they go with so many of these Bryces, right? So many of these dickheads that come along, um, put them through the ringer, right? So then the walls go up and up and up. So you normal guys, your average guys out there have to put up with a lot of bullshit um, to potentially even have an opportunity to get with the chick who's been damaged by a lot of experiences with guys who are, you know, uh, unreliable, unreasonable, um, emotionally unavailable, all that sort of stuff, right? So then the culmination of all these standards and, and boundaries that they have, they take all the good things of the guys, or all the good things of the Bryces that they had before, they add those together, right? So that's what they want. They want that added together. You've got to keep putting it on the shopping list without considering too much of the bad, right? They want that, but also through those bad experiences, they're going to give you all those upfront disclaimers and all that sort of stuff um, that really give them away. So guys, if you hear women coming up with rules straight away, oh, I don't do this and I don't do that and oh, I want a guy who does this and that and blah, 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 you can be rest assured that she's been through a lot of different guys and a lot of dating experience. And once again, guys, not slut shaming. Slut shaming is a thing that women do to other women. Guys like sluts. Sluts are good, all right? So not shaming about that. Um, sluts are good. Make the world go around, guys. <laughs> Look, anyway, dudes. Uh, thanks for watching. Once again, if you haven't subbed already, please sub to the channel. Uh, and once again, check out the Patreon if you're interested, um, and I would appreciate that. Thank you very much.